Hi everyone and welcome to Leah's Cross Stitch Corner. It is the 23rd of December. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Oh, who's excited? I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love Christmas. Ah, it is the penultimate day of our advent calendars. What an adventure it has been. And I say that in the most loosest sense of the word adventure because it's been wild. <laughs> So I don't have any haul to show today so I'm gonna have to like just waffle on for like 10 minutes depending on what I get. Um, I am gonna show what Katie gave me from Peacock Stitcher um, in my haul video over Christmas. So I'm gonna put a video up a week, no, this Wednesday? Yeah, this coming Wednesday will be my Christmas haul video. And <laughs> I have ordered myself a camera from Amazon. It is coming, fingers crossed, tomorrow. So I should be shooting my Christmas haul on my brand new camera. I'm so excited. I asked for some recommendations from people on Instagram and Stitched by Liz told me she had a Sony ZV-1, I believe it's called. So that's the one I got. <laughs> I've had to close the curtain. It's actually half 12, but I've had to close the curtain because the glare is too much. I'm really hoping the new camera resolves it. Otherwise, I don't quite know what I do at that point regarding like trying to film in daylight. I might just have to turn the camera a certain angle or something. I don't know. But I've got the camera coming tomorrow, a tripod, a camera bag to keep it in, a memory card for the camera because apparently it doesn't come with it. I've got the bead storage coming. So Kat from Catkin and Lily got an Art Dot bead storage set for her beads. So as you may understand, I also got it. <laughs> cat leads and I follow and I got some binder rings as well because I've ordered some Annie's Keepers flush drops again cat from Kakin and Lily it is all your fault I've bought them because you have them <laughs> I wanted some flush drops in bulk I love Kate Blandford's but I can't really justify buying 300 of hers for however much that's going to cost so I've bought some Annie's Keepers ones. I'm going to use the Kate Blanford ones as well. But for these big projects that I've got coming up, I need some more flush drops. That's the long and short of it. So because I got that job yesterday, I treated myself to all of those things. I didn't pay for it all in one go, just in case anybody's wondering. I'm not that flush. But yeah, I am so excited to be able to do videos with a proper camera. Oh, it's going to be good. So... Here's today's advent calendar. By the way, I've just seen on Facebook somebody was complaining about historical samplers advent box. It didn't start like that. They were talking about yesterday's gift and somebody, a lot of people were saying, you know, it was really poor. It's been really poor effort. Um, as you can understand, I agree. And they've said next year, apparently there will be more stitchy projects. I find it hard to believe them because this same thing happened last year with it. It didn't have in many stitchy gifts. I have heard that from other people. I didn't have it myself. Um, and this year has been more of the same. So it doesn't matter how many stitchy projects they offer next year, even if they up it to five, if you're going to give 20 days worth of stuff that isn't relevant, it still isn't worth the money that it costs. So the, the, they, they were kind of very defensive about it, explaining how much it cost, that it was £97 because somebody said it was a waste of £150. At the end of the day, whether it costs £97 or £150, this box has not been worth the money, no matter what. So to be defensive about the cost, I can appreciate correcting because it's incorrect, but you're not actually taking what people are saying on board. You're instead being quite defensive about it. So it's not going well. I mean, they said these boxes sell out really fast. I don't think they did. I don't think they actually sold out at all and they gave a lot away for people to actually get themselves. So, mm, we'll see. Anyway, let's get into the Caterpillar one, which I have loved. I've really enjoyed it. I can't wait to do my full review on both. And day number 23 is another little bad boy. So let's see what's in here. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> so here it is last call for spoilers and i'm just going to get straight into it because i've been waffling on for quite a bit we have a snowman i, I truly don't understand what ah, what can somebody enlighten me is this something for cross stitch 
Is it an ornament? A, what is it? It's blank. <laughs> Caterpillar cross stitch with one day left of advent have given us something that I'm not even sure what it is. That was a wild. That was a wild decision. I'll be honest. I genuinely I don't know what that is. If anybody can enlighten me, so it's like a year big compared to my hand. It looks like a snowman. There's his hat. There's his snowball. There's his snowball. But it's completely blank. I have no. I have literally no idea. I don't even want to go and check on the caterpillar page on Facebook because I don't want to be spoiled for whatever the last day is. I, I want to keep it a surprise, but I have absolutely not the foggiest idea. So if anybody knows, enlighten me. Maybe it's just an ornament. This is the thing. When you put something in that isn't immediately obvious to somebody, you cause a lot of confusion. So why not just like include a little bit of information about it? But I truly don't know what that is. <laughs> Here is the historical sampler one. Let's see what's in today. I need to get that out, actually. I'm going to have that this afternoon. We're having a double feature, Batman and Die Hard. Or Die Hard first, then Batman. Because that's Batman's a darker film, so he wants to watch it later in... Because Graham wants to watch it later in the day. Today he got... Yesterday he got Teeling Irish Whiskey. And today he got a Balblay 15. So he only has one more day of his advent to go. Here's day 23 for Struggle Sampler. Can it beat this random ornament that we've had? <sighs> A star ornament. It's nice because it's glittery, but it's it's so cheap. It is so cheap. Oh my god, it is one day before Christmas and you've given me a random snowman that has no relevance to cross stitch that I can tell unless I'm being thick. And a star. This is something somebody makes in reception. Like, like this is what kids make in reception. It's just basically, it's not even, I don't even know what it's made of. <sighs> My god. Well, that was just a... my god i thought it was getting better i thought it was getting better and it's completely gone over and so i don't know what caterpillar have done today i have absolutely no idea that is the most randomest thing i've ever seen i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it relates to and then a, a, a star i am sorry this box is not worth 90 93 pound 97 pound this box isn't worth 50 pound i'm sorry it's just not it is not. Oh, God knows what tomorrow brings. Jeez, a loo. That is just so not worth the cost. And you can defend it till your, till your eyes. You can defend it till the cows come home. That is not worth £97. We have not received £97 worth of gifts. I haven't, I've got three kits, some needles, a needle minder, do you only get one needle minder? I think we only got one needle minder. That's all that I'll be keeping. I'm pretty sure the rest will be going to Jasmine. I'll be drinking that, of course. I'll be having that today, but... <sighs> and Caterpillar really dropped the ball today. I have absolutely no idea what that is. If anybody knows, let me know, because I certainly don't know. I have no idea. So, I've got to go and get Graham's last present wrapped. I did all of his wrapping the other day when I was off, and I forgot to wrap something because it's up on the shelves behind in that cupboard. And it only occurred to me the other day and I was like, oh, I haven't wrapped it. And it's been a couple of weeks and I've been like, oh, I still haven't wrapped it. I haven't wrapped it. I'm going to wrap it now and get all his presents out and put in the sacks that we've got. He's got one present for me. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book. It's a nice chunky book. So the, I get a book every month off him after payday. He's just very kind like that. And this is this month and he's wrapped it up so I can open it. I think I may know what it is because it's chunky. But we'll wait and see on Christmas Day. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I will see you tomorrow for one last advent before Christmas. And then my regularly scheduled floss tubes will resume on the 27th of December. I will have my fancy new camera. 
I'll be showing off my Christmas haul and literally any other haul that I've gotten. I've got so much to show. It's going to take forever. I can't wait. And then beginning of January will be, I'm going to try and do a 2024 plans video. I might just put that up on an ad hoc basis at some point between Christmas and New Year because I have a lot to do in the new year because I'll have my magazines to go through. I want to get the reviews for these two done so I can get Jasmine all that stuff sent off to her. And then I want to do a whip parade at some point. So pretty much I'm going to have to put my 2024 plans up on an ad hoc day. So you will, you may get a random video, but I could always just put it up the first Wednesday of January, then do the magazines. Depends when the magazines come with the postal system. So to be decided have a lovely day i'll see you tomorrow for the last day of advent we'll have some fun we'll see what's in these boxes and i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you all tomorrow at seven bye